good to see you today. I'm here outside in front of this tree that has something growing on it. Do you want to know what it is? I'm going to tell you in just a second, but for right now, I just want to remind you that we are learning today from the book of Matthew, which is a book in the Bible. The Bible is God's word where we can find out more about who God is and what he's like. So today we're going to be talking about how Jesus told the disciples about fruit that grows on trees. All right, everyone. Now looking at this tree, can you tell me what kind of tree it is? If you guessed apple tree, you are right. This is an apple tree that grows apples. They are delicious and I love apples. Can you guess what kind of tree this is? This is a pear tree. I know it's a pear tree because look, there's pears growing on it. Just like I knew the apple tree was an apple tree, I know that the pear tree is a pear tree because of the fruit that is growing on it. This tree grows pears. So exciting. I love fruit. Do you? What is your favorite kind of fruit? I love berries. I love raspberries and strawberries. I really love apples and oranges. There's so many different fruit that I love to eat. Well, guess what? When Jesus was teaching the people, he was saying that just like a tree grows fruit that we can see, we can grow fruit that others can see. Now, I'm not talking about you growing a bunch of grapes off your nose or growing raspberries out of your ears. That's not what Jesus was talking about. Jesus was talking about the fruit of the Spirit, the things that God grows inside of us. And we know what those fruit of the Spirit are. The Bible tells us that the fruit of the Spirit is, now you're going to try to say it with me. Are you ready? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Whew, that's nine of them. That's a lot. Let's try to say that one more time. Are you ready? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I hope I remember them all. Whew, that's a lot to remember. But guess what? We don't always have to remember them all because guess who can help us with that? God can help us with the fruit that we can grow in our hearts. Remember how I've been saying that what we grow in our hearts comes out through our actions. So when we talk about growing things in our heart, we're talking about putting God's word and his teaching inside of us in our thoughts and in our feelings so that when we go to do something, that we, when we go to behave, then our actions look like what's coming out of our heart and what comes out of our heart is coming from God. Whew, that sounds like a lot, but it really isn't because God is our helper and he can help us to grow in the fruit of the spirit. Let's pray about that because I'm going to pray and ask God to help me grow in the fruit of the Spirit. And you can pray and ask God to help you grow in the fruit of the Spirit. God, thank you that you are our helper. That no matter what it's about, you will always help us when we ask. God, sometimes it is hard to be kind or loving or self-controlled. We have a hard time sometimes, God, and so we need your help. God, help us to grow the fruit that you want us to grow in our lives. Thank you for being a God that helps. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, that's all I have for our story today. I really, really, really miss seeing you guys, and I wish that I could see your faces instead of the camera, but it's not time yet. I'm really hoping that there'll be a time soon where I can see your faces. I miss you so very much. I have an activity for you that you can do at home today with your family to remind you about the fruit of the spirit and you can watch that in just a couple seconds. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you later. Bye.
In our story today, we were talking about fruit and what it looks like and how it grows on trees and how we can tell what kind of tree it is by the kind of fruit that it grows. So that the same thing is true about us. People can tell what kind of people we are based on how we act. So for our activity today, we are going to use different fruit to make an art piece. Now, I don't have any paint at my house. Do you have paint at your house? This idea includes paint, but I'm gonna give you another idea that you can do after this. So, if you don't have paint like me, maybe you just wanna cut your apple. I'm cutting it in a different way. I'm cutting it so that you can see something pretty special inside. What do you see? It's a special star hidden inside the apple. Now, we can use this part of the apple to dab it in paint and to make a nice piece of art using different fruits and vegetables. So maybe your mom has something around that you can use in the house to cut and then use to make an art piece with some paint. Now, if you're like me and you don't have any paint in your house, that's okay. You can use markers and you can draw a picture of a tree and write the verse in Matthew 7 that talks about how people can see what kind of person we are based on our actions. Draw a tree. So I'm going to try drawing. Here's the trunk. And draw a little like squirrel hole there. And then up here, I'm going to draw the leaves. And they're going to look like this. Now, if you have ink or markers at home, you can maybe use them to put ink on your finger and then use that to make the different shapes. I don't have any ink or paint at my house, so I'm just gonna use markers and I'm gonna create one of my favorite fruit to put in a tree. Can you guess what it is? Apples. I love apples. Because remember, this is what Jesus said. Just as you can identify a tree by its fruit. I'm just reading it here. <laughs> so you can identify people by their actions. So you can draw this, give a lot of detail if you want. You guys already know that I'm not the great artist. You guys are. So you can draw a lot better than this. You can fill in the tree if you want and give a little bit more apples if you want in there. And then hang this to remind you to keep growing in the fruit of the spirit. So that's one activity that you can do this week. Whew, that's all I have for my activity today. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.